Some have called it the Liberal government's fast ferry fiasco. Costs for building the Vancouver Convention Center expansion project have been soaring. Today, the province finally announced what the final bill for taxpayers is expected to be. CTV's Mike Colleen has the story. The new convention center has a new price tag, $883 million, almost double the original estimate. And while the costs are certainly higher now than what they were several years ago, when this project was first contemplated, in the long run, British Columbians will look back and say, thank goodness we built it. Built it during a period of unprecedented construction material and labor costs. I think if you look at it in the context of the materials increases that we've experienced as an industry and the cost uh, increases in other areas, it's not surprising. If the Premier had known that, he probably wouldn't have made this comment at the groundbreaking ceremony. And so it's going to be on time on budget. And, and there's going to be lots of BC, wouldn't it? And if it's not? It's going to be on time on budget. And if it's not? It's going to be. The NDP says it could have been if the government had negotiated a fixed price contract and had tighter control of the project. Well, what I've seen is yet another uh, display of clear incompetence and uh, mismanagement of this project. Even the construction industry says nailing down a fixed price deal for such a complex project would have been challenging. There'd be too much guessing and when there's a risk, when there's guessing, you really raise your price pretty high in the construction industry. Now there's a fixed deal with contractor PCL to cover the rest of the budget and a completion date of March 2009. There's also this assessment about the overrun from the minister. He says the cost of not expanding would have been greater than the bill for the project because of lost convention business. It's estimated that the convention business that we've lost due to our limited convention capacity here in Vancouver has already cost this province over one billion dollars in economic activity. The first customers to use the new facility, the international media here for the 2010 games. Mike Killeen, CTV News, Vancouver. The government had other financial news today that isn't a drain on taxpayers. BC finished the 2006-2007 fiscal year on top with a record surplus of more than four billion dollars. Finance Minister Carol Taylor says the huge surplus is thanks to BC's economic growth and the money went towards the province's infrastructure. British Columbia, the economy of British Columbia, 3.6% growth, second highest in Canada, record surplus, 4.1 billion, uh, record infrastructure spending on our hospitals, schools and roads of $3.4 billion and we still are continuing to reduce the debt as well. So the NDP says the Liberals overlooked some of BC's priorities. We rank, according to the Progress Board, ninth in terms of social indicators, in terms of child poverty and things like that. And when we have a three and a half billion dollar surplus, we should be looking at how we can use that to alleviate uh, the problems around child poverty, for example.